waiting online here. Oh. First warning. First warning. Yep, first warning. Oh, we have been waiting outside the hearing room of Foreign Affairs, where there is supposed to be a hearing on eliminating U.S. aid to terrorist groups. Right. But basically, what they're trying to say in there is that UNRWA goes to Hamas. And it's such a crock of bull that they close the hearing because they don't want us to hear about it. I think because we're here, because we want starving children to be fed, okay. uh, we listen, should be I'm, allowed into this hearing. I have that is that is at the that is at the behest of the chair. I have nothing to do with that. We're here because we want starving kids in Gaza to be fed, and they not only blocked us from going into the hearing, but look at all the police that they brought. And this bag here is full of zip ties to lock our arms when they arrest us. But think of think of the terrible tragedy of peacemakers who come here as volunteers, zero paid, because we care about starving children. And this is what is happening. Who are these police protecting? Not us. The quote, witnesses they have there are all people who have been trashing UNRWA for years. Something called UN Watch, NGO Monitor, another former counsel to uh, UNRWA who now makes his living trashing UNRWA. So they were so embarrassed, I think, by the imbalance and the lies that are going to be told in this hearing of why they should be starving people in Gaza because UNRWA is connected to Hamas, which is not true. Uh, that's why they kept us out. And I also want to say that when the U.S., when Biden uh, froze the money to UNRWA based on unsubstantiated allegations that a dozen members of UNRWA out of 13,000 employees were connected to Hamas. Uh, other countries followed in suit, and since then, they have almost all reinstated, including Germany, the EU, uh, most other countries, because they realized, one, it wasn't true, and two, UNRWA is the only organization capable of distributing the desperately needed food to people who are going hungry in Gaza.